Hey everyone, and welcome back to some more geo-guessing. Uh, today we're staying in Sweden. We're doing the seven five largest towns, uh, but I figure we'll disable moving and see how this goes. So we're gonna do like a few, well, I guess quicker because I can't move around. So we'll see how this will go. So immediately here we see an 08 area code, that's Stockholm, I mean, I guess it's pretty obvious it's Stockholm anyway, uh, with what this looks like. Uh, and otherwise I have water, I mean, I think this over here is uh, Grana Lund, the amusement park, which is situated here. So we're somewhere along this coast here. Um, we, we might be all the way up by Slussen. They are actually doing a lot of construction work or have been doing a lot of construction work over the last few years. Oh yeah, this is actually the gondola uh, restaurant or was a restaurant. I, I don't really know. Um, I just recognize like this little skywalk thing here. But yeah, so that's here you see gondola. This one, there's an elevator, yeah. We're a bit further down, so we're like somewhere. Yeah, I think this is a good, good guess. And yep, I'll take that. This was a little bit trickier. Um, Lance Styrelsen. So this is like a regional. Where is that only like in one place per region? So we're down to like 25 possibilities or so, I guess. But so this is a Swedish flag and this might be a regional flag, but I can't make it out. I don't particularly know if this style of building is supposed to tell me anything. This car does, I mean, this is like maybe the most distinctive feature here. But yeah. Because this doesn't look too big, so. But I have no no clue whatsoever can we find any other right we have these evergreen trees some sort of pine once again could really be anywhere So, where could this be? I mean, yeah, like, my guess is as good as any of yours, unless you actually know. I don't know if I can find Lance Styrelsen somewhere for any, like, it would be some sort of regional capital, I guess, Yavla would constitute that but like this also doesn't look like city center like could it be something like Karlstad I 
like I mean I really don't know what I even would be looking for I don't even know if this would show up as like a park area here. I mean, there's a parking lot just to the south. Yeah, no, I don't think I'm gonna be able to guess my way to this. So, should we just go with something like Karlstad and. Uh, It just feels wrong, but yeah, we'll put it here, even though this says something else. Yeah, way up in Luleå. I mean, yeah, I could have gone through a hundred cities before finding my way there. So here we have Skåne Trafiken. So we're far south. Um, bus number three. But this is oh, okay. Kristianstad <laughs> and the arena, like yeah. Um, Sometimes you just have to look around for the actual. Um, so let's see, where's the arena? It's down here. And it's this one. And is this the main entrance? Or, I mean, yeah, no, it's from this side here, yeah. So you have the rail here, all the parking on the other side. And then the slight bend here, yeah. So we're around here. I <laughs> I don't think I've ever been here in broad daylight, actually. Like, but I've been to a few concerts in here and stuff like that. Oh, that was just about uh, what got there. Uh, Kalmar Slot, it says. So I <laughs> assume, <laughs> yeah, this is, yeah. Uh, so Kalmar and this is the castle so we're literally at the end here we have the bridge crossing over the moat here uh, it can you can there's like the actual moat down here and then there's like uh, I don't know it's like an old moat or something that kind of like goes around but now you can walk it um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just at the end of it here. And yeah, and then we get the mandatory middle of a residential area with no proper street signs. Stockrosgatan. Doesn't really ring any bells there's a parking fee from 8 in the morning until midnight which indicates to me that it's a slightly bigger town maybe um, you wouldn't necessarily have parking fees that late at night otherwise um and this other one it says Bowenda. It's uh, so uh, for residents they have special permit to park here, I guess without a fee. Um can I deduce anything else? This is not doesn't look to be like a Stockholm sign that's about 
what I can. So we have like a mixture of brick and wooden houses. I mean, they're fairly big houses as well. Like these kind of. Like, it would be great if I could read some clues off of these, but. I get like a little bit of a southern vibe but maybe I'm just biased being a southerner myself uh, but it's like it's very typical for the kind of houses so it could it be some sort of outskirt area Um, so looking for some sort of flower. Oh, okay. Spring onion. There are actually tulip street. So so this one uh is like a rose, some like a type of rose, so it would kind of fit the bill, but we're on this kind of south southwestern road, and that one would then lead. So these are because here we're getting into town's name. There's another type of rose, so I mean, but we're still like we're looking south, southwest, so it would be yeah, probably not here then, but yeah, that was my gut feeling, so I'll just. I'll take this other one and just. Oh, I lost it. Where was I? Here. Wait, wait. Did I just go here? No. Oh, okay. Uppsala. I've been. I have not spent a lot of time in the outskirts of Uppsala. So, that uh, tricky one. 15k. Decent but not great. Let's let's go for another run. We're starting off with the horrible one instead. Hmm. Like are these? Okay, so this is the only clue I think I will get from here. It says Kattegat Måleri, so it's a it's a painting company. Kattegat is the sea out here, like on the west coast. Um, it's also the name of the village in Vikings that they, for some reason, called Kattegat, which is actually the the sea. Now you know if you didn't before. Uh, yeah, so I guess this could be somewhere in Gothenburg, it could be somewhere along the coast here in Kungsbacka, Varberg, Falkenberg, Halmstad. Um, I mean, just played, I don't even have a street name, do I? 
now because we are stuck in the middle here and I can't make anything out but so let's go coastal or close like I mean I have I have no idea what these areas would look like what's this New Zealand that's weird um, okay so two towns over basically but yeah uh, this looks like it would be tricky but I'm actually very confident here we're at uh, what's called Tallriken in uh, Pildamsparken in Malmö the plate it's just like a big circle in the park so where are we looking here we're kind of like looking south so we're on the north end um, so there's like this is like the inner track and we're kind of here probably Yep, close enough. And here we have some Skeppsholmen uh, that's in Stockholm. There's a little map of Skeppsholmen and Kastellholmen. They are out here. So this is Skeppsholmen, accessible by this little bridge. Um, Hotel Skeppsholmen we have here. So now the question, okay, the Svensk Sundsvägen is this one. Is what I'm, oh, I'm in a roundabout. Okay, and water, and this is, wait, what? Okay, now I'm getting confused actually looking around. Is this the bridge over here though? I mean, it's, wait, what? This one is going southeast, yeah. This is slightly weird. I mean, I feel like I'm actually definitely here, but it doesn't really go with what I see here. But then again, I mean, who might make a fuss? I think we're close enough. And we were. And what are the odds of getting the exact same drop? That's almost ridiculous. Oh, I don't actually know how this works when you're doing the non-movement. Maybe you are more inclined to get the same ones. Here we have uh, another painting company, uh, but this one specifically says that we're in Falun, which is in Dalarna here. We have a railroad that kind of seems to be running along here. So we have, I mean, this alliance, we could be anywhere along this one called Promenaden. And th this is actually not a street sign though, this is the housing association. Uh, but let's just assume that it's called the same. Um, we have like 
a bit of a cemetery actually across and this is the cemetery so we're on the north end of the cemetery somewhere and we're hmm I think we're like here yeah well that's a more decent score 22 so it was okay all perfect except that that first one um, yeah that was decent but um, I guess we'll cut it here for now and give it a few more attempts uh, soon and uh, I'll see you then I guess see you around